Hey, this is Brady from Cloud9, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Dropbox Sync working with your Cloud9 workspace and your local machine, so it works into a sort of Cloud9 local synchronization going on. And I'm going to be taking all of these commands from a tutorial that I'll link to at the end of this video. So first, of course, you want to have Dropbox installed on your local machine, and then we'll also get it installed on our Cloud9 workspace. And once you have Cloud9 downloaded and installed on your workspace, then we'll go ahead and run this script that will allow us to link our Cloud9 workspace with our Dropbox account. And so it'll open it up in this window and we just wanna pop this out into a new window. Click connect, close out of our Chrome tab, close out of this browser tab within here. And we'll get back into the terminal and just press control C and it says our computer is now linked to Dropbox, which is great. And now that that's done, it's created a Dropbox folder on our workspace. And so now we just want to symlink it into our workspace directory so we can see it here. And now I can see all of the files that I might have. And now I just want to make it easier to manipulate things and run Dropbox commands in the future. And so I'm going to download this Dropbox Python script. And then I'm going to make it executable. And I'm going to add it to my path so I can just call it in the future by calling Dropbox. And now that it's added to my path, I can just called Dropbox start, and then it'll start synchronizing the files that I have here in this folder with the things that I have on my local machine. And so now I can change this file any way I like to, and then I'll get notifications about how this file changes on my local machine. So that should get you started with local syncing of your workspace using Dropbox, but go ahead and click the link in the description for a full guide. Of course, subscribe to our channel for more guides like this, and happy coding!